Mike, are you telling me that, that if we run a store with 50 pedophile priests in Boston... Mike, we'll get into the same cat fight you got into on Porter, which made a lot of noise, but changed things not one bit. We need to focus on the institution, not the individual priests. How do you as a writer uh, look at this story and really reflect true investigative journalism? I mean, I think a lot of the credit goes to Tom, who from very early on told us, you know, was basically very focused on, we need to get this right, and we need to not collapse characters, we need not do the standing, standard movie tricks. We're, if it's an ensemble, we're going to show it as an, as an ensemble. We're going to cover this exactly as it happened. And I say cover because we had to investigate the investigators, spent a lot of time with those reporters. And I think we really wanted to show not only the joys of investigative journalism, but the agony. This is tedious, hard work, and it's only by doing this tedious, hard work that we actually break these kinds of stories. This is not just Boston. It's a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. Yeah.